So as y'all can see, I am no longer driving my beloved Nissan Type XD. I really truly love that truck, but I needed something with a little more hauling power. You know what I'm saying? Got a little more grunt to it. Because I purchased these machines over here. Uh, and, and, and me and my cousin started our own clearing and grading business. And as much as I love that Nissan Titan XD, it just... It just couldn't haul that stuff there with the old gooseneck trailer. So I, I took it and I traded it in on this Ram 3500. Now, this is a Ram 3500 mega cab, okay? She's thick, you know what I'm saying? I like my trucks like I like my women, wide hips. Now for all the haters out there who always made fun of my Nissan XD saying, oh, that ain't no real truck. Is this a real truck, huh? It's a Ram? 3,500 with a Cummins, 6, 7, is that a real truck, huh? Now, some of you may be asking yourselves, why would you need such a big jacked up truck? And the answer is simple, because I have a very tiny wiener. Now, as you can see here, she ain't got no street tires. Oh no, because you know, all my trucks got mud grips on them. You get to get that, I made a song about it, right? Anyway, 38's right here, okay? 38's on the front, 38's on the back. Look at them, look how thick, god dang. And then they got spacers right there between the two tires, you know what I'm saying? When I ride this thing down the road, I am on each line. If you see me on the highway, you better just go ahead and get over to the white line, okay? If you're passing me, because I'll probably be in your lane, all right? This sucker is, is it's different to drive. I love it, it's comfortable, but she's wide, you know what I'm saying? Now, when I bought this thing, I did not think of the part where when I replaced the tires instead of replacing four, I might replace six. And these Nittos ain't cheap, so it's going to be kind of expensive, you know what I'm saying? But it's all right. It's all right. I'll just get me one tire at a time. This is the power plant for the Ram 3500. It's got that 6.7 Cummins turbo diesel. Yeah, this ain't no sissy V8. This is a straight six. And you know what they say, six in a line, you're towing just fine. Eight in a V, you squat to pee. As you can see, uh, Ram does something totally different than other automakers. You know, they don't put mirrors on their trucks. No, they put wings, okay? Y'all's little Chevys and your Fords, got them little tiny baby mirrors, Pfft, not my Dodge. This sucker got so much power here, and these mirrors is so long that on the interstate the other day, I popped a wheelie going 90 mile an hour. Front end just came up, cause these mirrors are so big. <laughs> I mean, this is technically a Boeing 747 too. You know what I'm saying? I can get me a pilot's license to drive this sucker here. Cause these mirrors. All right, let's crank this beast up. Now as you can see here, this is a Ram Le Remy. Uh, that, that's French for luxurious. So there's a lot of things in this truck I, I don't understand. Okay, uh, it's got an air suspension. Okay, I, I don't. I have a no clue of what that does. I'm pretty sure it's got something to do with the towing. You know? but then I do know how to use the heated and cooled seats and the heated steering wheel. Uh, and all this stuff down here, all this computerized stuff. I don't know what it is. It looks cool. I'm just scared if I touch it, I'm gonna mess something up. But she drives smooth. I will say that. I have been very impressed. Because most of these trucks right here that's built for towing, god dang, they got springs so stiff it'll bounce you all over the place when you just hit the smallest of bumps. Uh, but this here, good smooth ride. And she gets up and goes too. She's got the power, you know. I bet you I can haul all that skid steer, that mini X, no problem. Be going 80 mile an hour down the interstate. I don't even feel like it's on the back of my truck. <laughs> I bet you can't do that with a Duramax or a power stroke. I'm just kidding. I like them all. I do. I really do. I ain't got no problem with all of them. I just thought this Ram Mega Cab looked good. You know what I'm saying? Now, unfortunately, you cannot hear the turbo whistle because it is not deleted or tuned. 
Now this Ram 3500, the towing capacity is 37,000 pounds, which means it can almost tow Bobby's ex-girlfriend. Pretty impressive, buddy. Now one of the things I really love about this truck is the fact it's got cameras everywhere. That's my left mirror view right there. That's my right, uh-oh, I hit something. That's my right mirror view right there. And as, I, as I'm looking at the cameras, I'm running off the road. I'm sure you didn't think about that. Uh, there's my rear view camera, so that way I can see anybody I've ticked off behind me. You know how close they are, so that way when I brake check them. And then there's the cargo camera. Check that out right there. Look there. That's the back of the bed, or the top of the bed. That's a good right there. That's a good view. One thing I feel like a lot of trucks lack is a uh, back seat room. You know, I don't feel like it's very spacious. And my child is nine years old. He got some long legs. And in my other truck, he kind of get cramped up. But not in this truck. Oh, no. This old Dodge 3500, she got lots of room. And check this out. First of all, these seats recline back. Look, you wouldn't think that you got that much room. But this sucker reclines back. Look at Look at like you're sitting in a recliner right there in the back of your truck. Now, if I need some room back here, say my boy ain't back here, I need to put something back here, I just take that sucker, pop it down, Bobby, hit the seat. Look at that. Got all the room in the world. There's more room than the back of an SUV. And check this out right here. If the zombie apocalypse were ever to happen, look, I got plenty of room for uh, plenty of Zombie killing devices. You know what I'm saying? You pop that sucker down. Look, you got you some hooks back here. Right there. Put anything you want. And then we pop these suckers back up. Just like this. And as you can see, it's that black leather interior. Oh, yeah. I couldn't get that white leather. I couldn't get no tan, no caramel. Because I have a nine-year-old. And I will have stuff, stains all over it. So that's why we went to the black interior. And as you can see, we got plenty of plug-ins for the devices. For the Nintendo Switches, for the iPods, the iPads, the iPhones. We plug them all up. That's probably why I felt like I didn't really have much power going up the interstate the other day because he had 14 plugs in here draining my battery. Well, ladies and gents, this is the conclusion of my tour of my Ram 3500 Heavy Duty. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed it. Truck game. Have a good one.